Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very interesting and incredible radical equation challenge. It is x cube plus 2x plus 8 equal to cube root of 84 times x cube by 2 plus x plus 4 whole square minus 400. We have to find out real solutions only. So let's get started by considering LCM here. So I can write our equation as x cube plus 2x plus 8. LHS is there. Now RHS. Cube root 84. And if I will take LCM, I will be writing x cube plus 2x plus 8 whole square and 2 square in the denominator. So I can write like this 4 minus 400. Now I can cancel 84 with 4. So it will become 21. So I can write cube root 21 x cube plus 2x plus 8 whole square minus 400. And if I will write our LHS also. So it is x cube plus 2x plus 8. Now you can see our substitution is there. I will presume this is our substitution t. So left hand side also I can consider t. So let me write here let x cube plus 2x plus 8 equal to t. So this equation will become t equal to cube root of 21 t square minus 400. Now I will consider cubing both sides. So I can write after cubing. Let me write here cube and let me write here cube also. So this power 3 will be cancelled with cube root. So I can write our equation t cube equal to 21 t square minus 400. Now we will find out three values of t as it is cubic equation. So I can write t cube it will be minus 21 t square plus 400 equal to 0. Now I will use rational root theorem. So we can find out the eligible factors of 400 in this manner plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 4 plus minus 5 and so on. I will straight away put x equal to 5. Let us check what will happen. If I will write 5 then it will become 5 cube minus 21 times 25 plus 400. So it would be 125 and if I will take product here then it will become 525. This is 400. So yes it is satisfying our equations. So that means x is equal to 5 is our base solution. Now I will use synthetic division to find out remaining two factors. So as x is equal to 5 is our base solution, I will write all the coefficient of cubic equation. So coefficient of t cube is 1, coefficient of t square is minus 21, coefficient of t is 0, the constant term 400. I will put one line over there, leading coefficient 1 as it is. Now 5 times 1. So 5, I will be writing minus 16, minus 16 times 5, minus 80. So I will get here minus 80, minus 80 times 5, minus 400. So 0. So these are coefficient for quadratic equation. And see this equation is, so let me write here t equal to. It is not x is equal to. So I will write here quadratic in t. So t square minus 16t minus 8t equal to 0. Now again I can apply Sridharachar formula or I can split also. So I can split 20 times 4. Okay, let's do factorization. I will write here t square minus 16t minus 80 equal to 0. So factors of 80 
we can write it is 20 times 4. So I can write 20 minus 4 as 16. So let me write here. So it is minus 20t plus 4t minus 80. Now if I will take the product then it will give us minus 80. Now I will take t common from first two. So t minus 20. Then I will take 4 common from last two. So t minus 20 equal to 0. So from here we are getting t minus 20 as one factor and second factor t plus 4. So we have calculated so far three values of t. All three values are real. The first one was base solution x t equal to 5 not x equal to second solution minus 4 and third solution 20. Now what is t? t was our substitution. It was this value. This was our t. So let us put over here x cube plus 2x plus 8 equal to 5 minus 4 and 20. So I will frame three equations from this solution of cubic equation. So if I will consider x cube plus 2x plus 8 equal to 5, then I will be writing x cube plus 2x plus 3 equal to 0. One cubic equation. Second value minus 4. I will write x cube plus 2x plus 8 equal to minus 4. So our cubic equation would be x cube plus 2x plus 12 equal to 0. And third equation from 20, I will write x cube plus 2x plus 8 equal to 20. So once I will take 20 to the left, it will become x cube plus 2x minus 12 equal to 0. Three cubic equations we have got. Now we have to solve all the three equations. So let me write here x cube plus 2x plus 3 the very first equation if I will check only so you can simply put x equal to minus 1 so you can get to know this is our base solution how it is minus 1 cube is minus 1 minus 2 plus 3 yes this is true so we will write this is our base solution x equal to minus 1 let's find out quadratic so for that I will use synthetic division method I need to write the coefficient of cubic equation 1 then I will write the coefficient of x square 0 coefficient of x 2 constant term 3 I will write leading coefficient as it is 1 1 times minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 3 minus 3 0 so these are coefficient for quadratic equation so I can write this time in x x square minus x plus 3 equal to 0. Let's check delta only discriminant b square minus 4ac. So if I will write only b square so it is 1 minus 4ac so 12. No need to further calculate as this value is negative so complex solution will generate. So we can reject this one. I will write rejected. Now our second equation. Let me write here itself. So equation was x cube plus 2x plus 12 equal to 0. Third equation is minus 12 equal to 0. So if I will only plug if value, if suppose I am putting x is equal to 2, it won't be. Value should be negative as all the coefficients are positive. So minus 1 is not satisfying. Let us put minus 2. So I can see it is minus 8, minus 4, plus 12. Yes, it is true. So x equal to minus 2 is our base solution for this cubic equation. Now I will do the same job. I will write all the coefficient of cubic equation. Then I will put one line over there. Leading coefficient as it is. Take the product minus 2 with 1. 
minus 2, minus 2 with minus 2, 4, 6, 6 times minus 2, minus 12, 0. Now these are coefficients for quadratic equation. I will be writing quadratic equation as x square minus 2x plus 6 equal to 0. Let me check only the discriminant value for the same also. So let me write delta is equal to b square. So minus 2 square minus 4ac. So minus 24. This value is 4 minus 24 minus 20. So complex solution. So this solution will be rejected also. So up to this point, four solutions we have rejected. Two solutions are accepted. Both are base solution. One is x is equal to minus 2. Second one is x is equal to negative 1. Now let's check for the third cubic equation. x cube plus 2x minus 12 equal to 0. Again I will use rational root theorem. So I will put randomly values. You can find out using rational root theorem plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 plus minus 4 plus minus 6 and plus minus 12. Leading coefficient is plus minus 1. Once we will take ratio then we will be get to know x is equal to 1 if you will put it is not satisfying minus 1 it is not satisfying if you will put x is equal to 2. Let me check. 2 cube is 8, 2 times 2 is 4, minus 12. Is this 0? Yes. That means x is equal to 2 is base solution for this cubic equation. Now I have to find out the remaining two solutions. So I will use SDM again. I will write coefficient of this cubic equation first. So I will write 1. x square is not there. So 0. Coefficient of x2 constant term minus 12. So I will write the leading coefficient 1 as it is. Now this is our new base solution for the third cubic equation. 2 times 1, 2. So 2. 2 times 2 is 4, 6. 6 times 2 is 12, 0. So these are coefficients for quadratic equation. x square plus 2x plus 6 equal to 0. If you will only check the discriminant of this quadratic equation. So you will be writing 2 square minus 4 times a times c. So again it is negative. 4 minus 24 minus 20. It is negative. So complex solution will generate. And we are calculating real one. So we will reject. So our ultimate and final solution for the given radical challenge becomes x is equal to minus 1, minus 2 and plus 2. Three real solutions are there. The remaining are complex values. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video friends. Good luck and take care.